This is Javier Arau with New York Jazz Academy, and I'm going to introduce here a method of forming the diminished scale. Using this method may help you remember the scale and also use it more effectively. So here are eight notes that form the D diminished scale. Before we take a closer look at these eight notes, let's first look at the C major scale. Here we have eight notes moving from C up to C, no sharps, no flats. If we change the order of these notes, starting with the second note of the C major scale, moving now from D up to D, again no sharps, no flats, the exact same notes of the C major scale just reordered, we get the D Dorian minor scale. So here's the D Dorian again, except we are going to remove the last four notes of D Dorian and put in a new set of four notes on the top that are a half step lower. Now what we have is the same first four notes of D Dorian, but this whole scale has just become the D diminished scale. You can use this method to learn all your diminished scales. Let's try the E diminished scale for practice. Here's the whole thing. It looks complicated, but we are going to find out it's not too complicated. Let's start first with D major. Now, with D major, we have again the major scale, moving from D up to D, with an F sharp and a C sharp, because the key of D major has two sharps in it. Let's take that scale and move it up a step, so we keep all the same notes. You see the F sharp and the C sharp, but this time we are starting on E and moving up to E. The top four notes are B, C sharp, D, and E. And now they become B flat, C, C sharp, and D sharp. And again, there you have the E diminished scale. 